The sun is actually a fairly typical star. And the standard model of the sun, so-called, that astronomers are so very proud of these days, really doesn't explain very much about the sun. Why is there a corona in the first place? Everybody knows about the corona, the beautiful corona that we see during solar eclipses. Why is it there? It's clearly an electrical phenomenon. One of the greatest puzzles about the sun has been with a surface temperature of 6,000 degrees, high above that surface we have temperatures of millions of degrees. And the question has been how do we get the energy from the centre of the sun somehow past that surface to heat the upper atmosphere of the sun to millions of degrees. In the electric model you don't have that problem because if the energy is arriving from outside the sun the first place you expect to see that energy expressed is above the sun in its tenuous atmosphere. And that is the place where particle acceleration occurs and the apparent temperature goes very high indeed, up into the millions of degrees. The fact that the particles in the solar wind accelerate, that is to say, increase their velocity with increasing distance away from the sun. The farther away they get, the faster they go. And the fact that those particles are indeed charged particles leads me, as an electrical engineer, to come to the immediate conclusion that this is an electrical process. In the solar model, uh, think of the sun as being a positive anode, very high voltage body that obviously would, would emanate an electric field. And if you put a charged particle in an electric field, it will accelerate. That's the way we accelerate particles here on Earth. One of the features we observe on the sun, which have no business being there, according to the standard model, are sunspots. The most significant thing about a sunspot is the fact that the center of the sunspot is dark. And if the sun is trying to radiate energy from its core into space, we should expect that it is bright. These phenomena are only to be expected if the sun is electrical in nature. Astrophysicists make the claim that the solar fusion model has indeed been tested in the laboratory. And nothing really is further from the truth. Continuous hydrogen to helium fusion has not been attained in the lab. The strength, in fact, of the electric cosmology is that, indeed, all of the, uh, the mechanisms that the electrical uh, people talk about have, indeed, been verified over decades, in fact, at least a century, in the laboratory. The plasma uh, scaling is well known, and, and plasma and electrical experiments have, have verified every step of the way. Uh, for example, uh, heavy elements, the solar spectrum, the neutrino deficiency, the neutrino variability, solar atmosphere, differential rotation by latitude, differential rotation by depth, equatorial plasma torus, the sunspots, sunspot migration, the sunspot penumbra, and the sunspot cycle itself magnetic field strength, the even magnetic field, helioseismology, the solar density, and the changing size. All of the um, observations that in that list are natural consequences of the electrical sun model. Plasma cosmologists have been able to demonstrate experimentally and also in the supercomputer that galaxies are an electrical phenomenon.